Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Catalan Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson 32 where I'm going to talk more about self-healing mechanism. So as you all know, I've already published two chapters regarding self-healing mechanism. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. I would recommend you guys to go through those videos before you watch this session. So this is our Chapter 3 where I'm going to talk about prioritization of element locator methods for your self-healing mechanism. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so if you see on the screen, we are at chapter 3. I've already published chapter 1 and chapter 2. So chapter 3, here I'm going to talk about selection and prioritization of your element locator methods for self-healing by using Catalan Studio. Okay, so what is our agenda item for this chapter 3? So I'm going to teach you how can you turn off and then turn on your self-healing feature. So I'm going to explain two different ways to perform this activity. And also I'm going to talk about prioritization of your element locator methods. How can you prioritize your element locator methods that needs to be considered while self-healing process is being kicked off, right? And then I'm going to teach you about Catalan Studio self-healing method currently supports only four element methods. One is XPath, Attributes, CSS and Image. I'm going to talk more about this. And then you can decide to use one of the multiple methods for the self-healing function. So that I'm going to teach you. And then you can also prioritize them for self-healing to consider. Okay, so now without delay, let's jump out of the system and see how can you perform your prioritization of your element locator methods for self-healing. So this is my latest version, Catalan, right? So version is 8.6.6. .6. So as I told you, uh, the self-healing capability is available in Catalan from 7.6 and over versions okay it available from 7.6 version and over okay so if you want to upgrade your catalan studio you just need to click on help and then go to check for updates right so then uh, if you have any new version available then it will suggest you to install the new version you can directly click on install so it automatically installs your latest version of catalan okay here for me i have a latest version 8.6.6 .6. okay so First one, how can you set up? See, in my previous session, I already published chapter 1 and 2. Now, you understand how does this self-healing mechanism works in Catalan Studio. Now, let me teach you how can we set up these self-healing in Catalan Studio. Okay, so there are two methods. One is, either directly you can go to self-healing icon here. So, by default, your self-healing will be enabled. So that's why it shows you to disable self-healing because the self-healing is enabled. If you click on disable, now your self-healing is disabled and you will get an option to enable. If you click again, see it shows enable self-healing. Okay. So this is one method to enable or disable your self-healing. And the other method is you need to go to projects and then go to settings. Under settings, if you go to self-healing and the self-healing is only applicable for web ui not for mobile okay and here there is an option to enable your self-healing and disable your self-healing if you check this that means your self-healing will be enabled if you uncheck self-healing will be disabled okay that is one thing and now coming to element locator method so when you set up or when you enable your self-healing execution you need to set up your element locator methods. So what does this element locators methods? So first of all, this Catalan Studio supports four different types of locator methods for self-healing. Those are XPath, Attributes, CSS and Image. 
So these four are the element locator methods that supports by Tetlan Studio as on today. Okay. So you can select any one of the element locator method or you can select multiple of them like by checking these right you can uncheck all these and you can keep only image or you can check all these and you can consider all these element locator methods for self healing process and you can prioritize these element locator methods it's very important for you to decide on what element locators to be used for your self healing and how should i prioritize these element locator methods okay so you might ask okay what is the best uh, approach in the prioritization it's again depending upon your system under test so what application you are testing how does that application is built right by developers and then what are all the different attribute locators being defined defined by your developer for each and every locator so it depends upon multiple factors okay and then how can you prioritize this you can simply select one of the element locator method and you can select move down right and move up so this is the way you can prioritize your element locator methods that needs to be considered for self healing process okay so how does this prioritization works let me explain let us assume if i unselect these element locator methods then whenever there is a self healing mechanism kick off what happens first it looks for the xpath locator that is captured that you have captured by default whatever the xpath method or the locator it considered to identify the object right it first search for the xpath if it did not identify then it goes to configuration default locator then what it will do in the xpath it will look for the alternative xpath locators these are all the different alternative xpath locators that it is going to look for right if any one of them matches then it self heals by considering the alternative xpath and it proposes you to change the current xpath to the new alternative xpath that's how it works and if let's say if i select all these element locator methods for my self healing then what happens let's assume first it search for the xpath it searches for alternative xpaths still it does not meet then what will what it will do it will go to the next priority element locator method what is your next priority element locator it's attribute first it looks for the attribute default attribute that is captured while recording or whatever the default attribute that you re defined if if it does not match then again for attribute it goes to the alternative attribute methods like id name checked form href placeholder there are a lot of alternative attribute methods available so it for it searches for the all alternative attribute methods any one of the matches then it self heals and it proposes the new attribute method and then you can change i mean you can basically approve the proposed attribute method so in my previous session i have already explained you how can you approve your um, alternative um, proposed methods right so i would recommend you guys to visit my previous video to understand okay so that is one thing and let's assume expert that for these two xpath and attributes you have alternative methods okay let's say these alternative methods also not matched then it goes for cas css it tries to match for css if does not match then it goes for image comparison so it takes image locator method to identify your object so this is your prioritization so what are the prioritization you want to uh, set up you can set up but this is how it works so let's go back here again see let's say for xpath right let me show you okay how it works if you go to your 
object repository this is my object repository that i captured in my chapter one right so let let me open make appointment if you go here xpath this is your default locator just now i told you alternative xpaths so if you see these are all your alternative xpaths so it searches one of the alternative xpaths here if it matches and then it considers this newly matched xpath as your selected it proposes this newly matched xpath as your selected locator if you approve this newly matched xpath will be replaced with the selected locator okay if these xpaths does not match then in the settings if you define attribute as your next priority locator method then what happens because ours is attribute right then it goes to attributes here see here attributes this is your attribute default attribute if it does not match it considers the below alternative see it can match id it can match href it can match class attribute text attribute all these attributes it can match tag attribute right if any one of them matches then again it proposes your alternative attribute method and that will replace your selected locator if you approve it let's assume your xpath does not match any alternative attributes does not match then it goes for css selector if css selector also does not match then it goes for your image selection okay so now hope you all understand see i'm gonna tell you how does this how can you basically self heal by using css how can you self heal by using uh, by using xpath how can you self heal by using image relative paths right this i'm going to tell you in my next sessions anyway but very high level i mean the basic concepts and intermediate level concepts i already covered in chapter 1 chapter 2 and this chapter 3 is to understand how to set up your self healing priorities correct priority locator priorities okay so hope you all understand the concept how can you turn off and turn on your self healing feature how can you prioritize your element locator methods and how can you how does this prioritization of element locator methods works between four different element locator methods xpaths attributes css and image and then you can decide to use one or multiple methods of your self healing function right and also i showed you how can you prioritize them for self healing to consider correct so hope you all understand the very important concept of setting up your self healing method okay so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concept of prioritization of element locator methods for self healing by using catalon automation studio please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you